Welcome to Curated with Cassie. Coming up, we've got fashion, food, and a hidden gem right here in Dublin. That's all to look forward to. Okay, so this is your studio. This is Edge Only Headquarters, yeah. So all the design and manufacture is, well, the design's here, the manufacturer's off-site, but this is where we ship everything out for all the e-commerce orders. And okay. Pop-ups and for retail. So this is where the business happens, right? This is where the business happens. All the finished jewelry is here, which is what people want anyway. Okay, yeah. Everyone that knows you knows, I think, the lightning bolt is what kind of yeah. stands yeah. out. You're, you were the one that made the lightning bolt a thing. Yeah, I pretty much <laughs> most days I was wearing this probably for three years in silver or in gold. Yeah, it's so or cool though. lightning bolt earrings, yeah. yeah. And uh, then I started doing it on men's chains and so now equal opportunity. We do lightning bolts for men and for women. We have seven different types of lightning bolts. There is a map yeah. here with little tiny dots on it. Tiny dots, yeah. Uh, that's not where you've Aaron, traveled. Aaron, who was doing uh, social media for me last summer, was like, we need a map for this, but um, I'm really terrible at keeping up with it. But he, he started it all off, so at least we've got the States and sort of Europe well covered and a so, little bit of Australia. There's sort of the odd little, you know, when it goes to Singapore or something like that's that. That's so or, cool though, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to get a... So a, it's like it literally is taking all over the world and it's in kind yeah, of like boutique kind of stores? Is that what we're... Yeah, we mainly sell London and New York. And okay. then I think because those are real travel hubs, people discover it there and then it starts going everywhere else. So somebody will be like, oh, I got a gift of your David Bowie necklace, That's which cool. I know, the, the lightning bolt. Um, so now I want something else for, you know, my partner or whatever or, you know. Cool. Yeah. So making waves. Oh. That was cool. So stars, lightning bolts, black hearts, and pendants and loads of cool things are all still in and Jenny's keeping them in. Anyway, come, the next place we're going to is a little bit far. Are you ready? Laura Chambers. Laura Chambers office. Cassie Stokes coming in. So, Let's go back to when you started. Why did you start and Okay, how you so got into I it? was in NCAD in fashion and uh, graduated there years ago. Okay. And when I was in college I studied like lots of different aspects of fashion. So like, you know, kind of on the flat, on the stand, and then we did knitwear as well. Okay. Um wasn't too keen on knitwear at the time, didn't have the patience <laughs> okay. for it. It's quite intricate. So we use like uh, domestic hand loom machines, which is what this is. Yeah, this. I, yeah. Uh, you're, you're gonna talk, you have to tell me yeah. what this is about because it just looks like. The... Yeah, so this is what we would use to knit all the pieces. Now, I don't knit them all myself. What I would do is do a, a sample piece on it and then work out um, a pattern and a design and then give it to the knitters. These are samples from Autumn Winter 19. Okay. Um, we do a lot of the same kind of shapes. So like the Jump Rhyme on will be kind of a classic shape that I do in lots of different colors each season. Uh, we use Scottish and Italian, cashmere, um, depending on what kind of takes my fancy from the color cards, which we have on the desk as well. I'll show you those okay. in a minute. Um, so we would, um, get them all made here in Dublin, but everything is made in Dublin. Yeah. I'm holding this because I just think it's so cool. Hoodie. Yeah. yeah. Hoodie cashmere. Yeah. Yeah. Cash, cash. I'm going to let you get back to work. Okay. Make your scarves, yeah. your hats. Yeah. I'm going to go walk the corridors and see who else I can find. Great. Laura Chambers, you can get it online. Uh, yeah, laurachambers.com. And Instagram. Um, yes. I can't remember. We were talking was. on Instagram. <laughs> I'll put up the handle. Yeah. It's up, apparently, right now. Great. Thanks, Laura. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Ta-ta. It's the only Japanese Michelin star restaurant here in Ireland. Ichigo Ichie. And I'm here right outside it in Cork. I'm going to go chat to its owner, Takeshi Miyazaki. We're going to make some sushi. We're going to have the chats. So we are here in Ichigo Ichie, and I am joined by... Michelin star chef, which is an absolute pleasure, Takashi Miyazaki, who owns Miyazaki, which is a takeaway Japanese here in Cork, and then also Ichigo Ichie. Why Cork? Why did you feel the need to open up the Japanese restaurant um, here in Cork? Yeah, we were researching about the uh, way we opened the restaurant. Then yeah. uh, why we choose Cork was um, I'm from southwestern Japan, yeah. and I feel like, you know, you have to stay in the, in the south. south. Yeah. I love, I uh, like that. <laughs> water is very good in Cork. Yeah. And, uh, 
uh, local produce and uh, growers and producers just good quality and uh, so many so many producers there I love that yeah so when, when people arrive here what do they experience people like um, we have a 12 course uh, one menu and uh, menu changing by a season okay so the kaiseki uh, cuisine in Japanese cuisine is the uh, all about the seasonal I enjoy sushi, absolutely love Japanese food, mm -hmm. never made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can teach uh, how to make uh, nigiri dish today. Yum. And beforehand we have um, uh, Japanese wasabi. And okay. we get that uh, fresh wasabi from Japan. So what's the difference between Japanese wasabi and... And um, flavor, and then this one is kind of um, uh, spicy, nice. but natural sweetness they have. We have a few different types of fish today, right? And uh, most of the fish from the West Cork, we're okay. getting from the Castle Town Bear. And today, but the, if you say sushi, yeah. it's the tuna is the most you know, popular and common. So I have three different parts of this. I'm a bit nervous about this. I am though. <laughs> It's says fun. you. You have it's a Michelin fun. star. No, yeah, I'm no, almost on my way to getting one. I'm easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very okay. Do have I done it wrong already? Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. And then the rice bowl. Nice. You have nicer move. <laughs> it's like a dance when you're doing it. <laughs> and then you just uh, dash finger first a little bit here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And turn over. And then. Here you go. Mm. Look. It's pretty good. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, now I can take holiday now. <laughs> Except it would take me forever to do it. Yeah. And good. do you ever get bored of doing it? No, it's always fun. Yeah, I just, I, I just love this. I love that yeah, so much. Yeah, let's see the customer and then uh, have a chat and then explain the dish. And, uh, yeah. Now, was this, is this what you were expecting when you first started off for it to be a success? Um, the, what is like my what I want to do yeah. and uh, it's real Japanese food yeah. and Japanese culture I want to promote in, in, in Ireland that yeah. was um, my tag challenging yeah yeah that's why we do um, uh, Irish products yeah. and then uh, giving Japanese technique that's why it's we perfect. shall we eat yes let's okay. eat I'm gonna Ichigo Ichie right now <laughs> Which means enjoy the moment, right? Watch. <laughs> mm. Nice melting in the uh, belly parts. Mm. So we're here inside Shady and the Lamp and I'm with the owner, Sarah O'D. Sarah, walking in here was one of the most fantastic experiences of my <laughs> life. It's like, it's like Alice in Wonderland or something. <laughs> Thank you very much. So tell me, you must be absolutely obsessed with obsessed. lamps, lampshades. Yes, all yeah. things lighting, all things lighting. Which is quite absolutely. cool. I didn't yeah. actually, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever thought about lampshades in such detail or the process or anything. So first yeah. of all, bring me back. How did you get involved? How did I start? Yeah. I was working as an interior stylist uh, for a number of years. Cool. Um, there was always an issue with finding the right lampshade. Hey, it just yes. became kind of a bit of a... Uh, like it was a thing, like, well I guess obviously you're in something, you're noticing that there's something missing so you're like, grand, I'll yeah, start working on yeah, this. Yeah, okay. exactly. We were looking for lampshades that weren't just pink actually. It all started because of a pink lampshade that we just couldn't get. Okay. <laughs> oh, these lamps, it's fantastic. So talk me through which ones are which. So <laughs> these guys are hand stitched. You have your fringe and your panelling, especially anyone who likes a lot of colours. I love. I like that's me. I would have a <laughs> rainbow on a lamp. And the little ones, they like the, the tiny little, little tiny dresses. ones. Yeah, these little guys can go on for chandelier shades, little light bulbs. This is Linton Tweed. Yeah, it's incredible. What are, what's all this here? This is all our beautiful trim. Cool. So we get this from all around the world. This is used effectively to hide our hand stitching, which I can show you. We were able to take the trim and then we stitch the trim over here to cover this. It's a nice detail. So cool. Yeah, yeah. You still do it all yourself though, which is quite fantastic. You know, some people yeah. would take a step away once they yeah. reach a certain stage. Um, yeah, to a certain degree. I, do, I, I always would prefer to be hands-on and even with kind of the recent expansion, there was a question of whether I should kind of move on yeah. to the management side of things and the business side of things, the marketing. 
but I decided, yeah. no, that I love this. And all this in here is just kind of like where you keep, they're dinosaurs. This is our collection of dinosaurs. <laughs> they've, they've come everywhere with us. They're essential to the well-being. <laughs> I have to say I probably go for this. All the pride colours. So this, for me, this and... Maybe like the mint egg. Yeah, stunning. Look at this lamp. Obviously, I went to design school. <laughs> there. That is lovely. Maybe one suggestion I would yeah. make is love this, love this. Maybe the trim. Could yeah, be I think you're right. <gasps> orange. A little bit of orange. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would take your advice. Thanks so much. So there you have it. Fashion in the Liberties, sushi making in Cork. How fun was that? And then, of course, we got lamped. Next week, we're going axe throwing. Yes.